Hey, Derek. Yo, all right. Hi, hey. Uh, it's fine, I'll get back to that in a minute. Hey, Derek, this is a paragraph. I'm letting you know that. Hey, Derek, I was thinking the other day about the possibility of selling my $2.8 million compound. I know from what my assistant has been able to gather that, you have an assistant? Sebastian, this is cool. Uh, that you occasionally dabble in the domain of luxury listings. I do dabble. Uh, you see, this castle of a property was once the converted jewel, coveted jewel, of the country. Until the accident, it was a bit odd that the family and all of their workers began to have identical dreadful dreams. This carried on for months without anyone sharing this communal... Tatiana? I don't even know what that is. Then it happened, and it started with the children. Anyway, hope you can assist me and my family in selling this property, or at least educate us on what we should be expecting from our agent. Please respond as quickly as possible. I'm afraid we don't have much time. What? Kindly, Sebastian Eleanor William III? What is happening here? What? We need to call like an exorcist or something. This is crazy. Did you write this? Or is this somebody that you know? Like what country is this? It was mailed in. It was, a... it was mailed in? This is electronic. They sent an entire tablet? We scanned it. Am I gonna be affected by this because I read this? Uh-uh, I'm not, all right, I'll talk to you about luxury listings. Maybe I'll list this, maybe I won't. But I'm gonna need some help from ghost hunters. What's up guys? We are here outside of a luxury listing that is not listed yet, but if I have anything to say about it, it very well may be. By the end of the week, next year, seven years from now, doesn't matter. At the end of the day, I hope to list this property at some point, but I wanna take you inside, show you a little bit around and explain to you what it's like to list a luxury listing and why it's different than listing a regular listing. Come on, let's check it out. Staging your home geared towards that desired buyer is crucial with luxury real estate. So when you talk about staging your home, I'm not saying that you uh, wanna completely stage the entire house necessarily. It depends on the, the listing, it depends on what type of house it is, how big it is, etc. So for instance, if you're in a seven bedroom house that's over 7,000 square feet, you're probably gonna gear that staging more towards a family. So any of the gathering rooms or the kitchen, for instance, you wanna make sure that these areas are staged with the proper staging that fits a family mold. If you have a fireplace on the backside that's covered uh, and it's a huge deck and it's an area for everybody to gather, you wanna make sure that the outside decking area is also staged. It all just depends on your desired buyer and whatever that luxury home is, is it bigger, is it smaller? You just need to stage geared towards that buyer. One thing that you wanna do no matter what when it comes to luxury listings is hire a professional photographer slash videographer that can do really nice luxury photos and a lot of them. You wanna make sure you get as many photos as you possibly can so that you make sure you highlight all those little nuances throughout the property that make this luxury listing different from the other. Also, when it comes to the video and you wanna talk a, a very, 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 very professional video that can highlight not only the actual inside of the house, 
but can highlight the outside of the house, especially on acreage. If there's any type of water uh, feature, if there's a dock, if there's a garage or an external garage, these are all the things that you wanna make sure you hit. If it's seven acres, 20 acres, you wanna make it sure that you have a drone that's out there getting every bit of the land and all of the interior and exterior photos you can possibly imagine to ensure that your house shows the best way possible since it's a luxury listing. So in luxury real estate, or when selling a luxury home, every room needs to fit your potential buyer's lifestyle. So when you're looking at each room, you need to think to yourself, what would a luxury buyer do with this room? So for instance, if you have a room that's basically just awkward, it might have a fireplace in it, but nothing's really there, maybe make that a hearth room or a gathering room. Or if you have a room like this, where it's a large room and you wanna just possibly make it just different, where you, you paint the walls dark and you make it more of like a podcast room or a theater room. These things are what buyers are looking for in that luxury market. They want uniqueness, they want different. So make it different for them. So the last thing you want to do, and probably one of the most important things to set your luxury listing apart, is you want to create a brand. So your house is obviously unique in different ways. You have maybe different rooms, or there's potentially uh, 20 acres of land that you live on, or a dock, or something that makes your, your house unique, but you need something more than that, something that draws people into your house, something that draws people to your listing specifically and says, man, I gotta go see that, or man, that fits me perfectly. So whether that's creating a name for your brand, uh, such as Modern Black Farmhouse, or you know whatever that is, and then creating a photo image that constantly plays in someone's mind every time they see it in your digital marketing, every time that you put it out on your socials, every time that you put it out to all your email blasts, there's that photo that somebody sees and they're like, man, every time I see that, it is gorgeous. And it's that photo specifically that ties into that brand. And with that brand, you can do all kinds of things. So try and brand your property specifically to make your luxury listing stand out. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us on another episode of Smart Moves. Uh, I love talking about luxury real estate. I love talking about real estate in general. So if you guys know of any questions you might have that you'd like for me to talk with you about, please comment below. Go and follow us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook. We love helping people with all their real estate needs. Doesn't matter if it's luxury or not, we're here for you. We wanna help you with all your Middle Tennessee real estate needs. Can't wait to see you on the next one. Have a great rest of your day, guys. We'll talk to you soon. I don't like doing this with Nikki here. Go outside. Yeah, because this is so awkward. You should be like, no, Derek, no, Derek. You're supposed to say this. She's got to measure something. Hold on. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for joining us on this luxury listing appointment. That was fun. Did I do that? Because I'm back, Kyle. What am I talking about? And also make sure that you finish your home projects prior to listing your luxury home. Okay, I don't know what's happening. Sorry. All right, go. Okay.